Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am on my deck painting again. And um, this video, I, I have to say right up front, it's a total uh, ripoff from uh, something Michael Chamberlain did. Sorry, buddy, it, it was just such a great idea. I had to steal the idea. So um, the uh, he did a video where he pulled out some of his old paintings and actually um, kind of showed uh, what it is that he maybe critiqued them and talked about what what he thought was wrong with them and then he actually repaired one of them so and I uh, I thought I would do the same so um, except I had a little bit of a twist on mine instead of showing you many of my own paintings um, except for the one that I'm going to work on well, I'll show you one other one uh, I'm going to show you some of the paintings that are in my collection um, that I've uh, received um, as gifts uh, from people or purchased and um, so I want to uh, share some of those with you and I will do that uh, I'll do that first and then I'll share you I'll share with you one video one particular painting of mine that I actually um, uh, really like and actually there I'm going to show you two of mine that I really like that I have uh, kept and hung on my own wall um, which uh, I don't have a lot of uh um well i have a lot of my own paintings i don't have a lot that i would hang on my wall <laughs> you know it's funny for every one that i feel like is successful you know i probably have a dozen that fall into this category of needs work so um i have a bunch in boxes uh gave a whole bunch away before i left michigan because instead of living in boxes i'd rather than be hanging on someone's wall um, for people who can appreciate them and enjoy them and I do have no problem um, getting rid of paint paintings in that manner so anyway I'm set up on my uh, on my balcony here it's a beautiful day here in uh, Southern California and so um, why not right I mean it's amazing so this is the painting that I'm gonna work on today and you know um, I want to work on it because it's it's one that I actually really like um, and but in general my my issues with it are that it's just not that interesting and I think the reason why is because this the sky is so uh, it's just so gray and if I'm gonna put it on my wall which I'd kind of like to do um, I'm not a fan of gray days so <laughs> I went out and painted, and this this is a representation of what of what I saw, um, but it's not something that I um, am particularly drawn to and actually enjoy looking at. So um, I'm going to completely change the sky into something that I do like to look at, and then we'll see how that affects uh, how that affects what happens. There'll probably have to be some counter changes. Um, made in here because of what's going to happen uh, with the sky basically I'm going to go for a uh, more clouds and blue rather than kind of this grayish mauve or grayish uh, purple um, color sky and then I'll have to figure out what effect that's going to actually have on, on the water um, because it's, it should definitely make some adjustments there anyway first uh First, I will um, I'll talk you through these uh, these paintings, and uh, and then we'll get we'll get busy on this. So, Michael, it's not a total ripoff. This part is definitely, but uh, uh, I'm going to twist it up just a bit. All right, cool. So I'm going to talk about some of the paintings that are in my collection, and uh, I wanted to uh, since I'm kind of ripping off Michael's video, I thought I would start with uh, Michael Chamberlain's painting. Um, this was a gift uh, to me from Michael, and it, what I really like about this painting is it's just like there's kind of like this purple gray um, background to all of the rocks and things, and then just really simple, pure color um, strokes over the top, and then um, I love the way um, the water and the um, hill that's in the distance it just the, the values are so good that um, it really sets everything in the proper 
atmospheric perspective and um the way this beach in the foreground is lit up it's just amazing and uh, i've learned a lot by getting close to and um, viewing this painting the next two that i want to talk about i'll actually talk about a couple of mine um, these are two that hang in my house and they're the only two paintings that i have hanging of my own and i think i really like them for a couple of different reasons um, the one really small one of just a little pine tree next to the sand um, I think I like that one so much just because I know what I learned at the time was a major step forward for me um, in my painting. And this was one of my little 30-minute sketches um, that I do. But I really like this one a lot, so I, uh, I keep it hanging on the wall. And the, uh, the other one is actually um, it's from the South Haven area along Lake Michigan. And... This one I love because it totally perplexes me. I mean, it's amazing how I painted a certain way in 2014. Um, at least I think this one is 2014. But anyway, I painted a certain way. I painted better in this painting than I even do now sometimes. I think I struggle occasionally. Um, it's kind of strange. I mean, I, I look at it all the time, like every day I, I am right in front of it. And I think, man, why, why is this one so much better than I think some of my current paintings are? And I don't completely know the answer to that. It's almost like I've unlearned some of the things that I intuitively knew back then. So that's a good thought. Maybe I'm going to have to unlock that thought a little further. So anyway, those are two of mine. Um, the next two paintings I want to talk about are actually paintings by my buddy Richard Jordan. And um, the first one is uh, one that he gave me um, pretty early on. I had given him some things that I made and uh, he traded me a painting. And I really like this one a lot because it, uh, it reminds me so much of um, springtime in Michigan where things are just starting to come alive and it it just uh it totally reminds me of what a, a, a what an amazing feeling that was when winter was finally gone and the grass was starting to turn green and you could feel the sun's heat and um even though you might have a cool breeze or something uh anyway it's just a great early spring um painting and there's some things about um, the sky in this one that I really enjoy and then the second one is a little tiny five by seven um, we used to do these uh, artist exchanges um, I was part of the uh, planner artists of West Michigan and we would do these uh, artist exchanges at our Christmas party where you were always um, supposed to bring a five by seven little painting and then we would um, we would exchange them so I have a few uh, a few little five by sevens that I got that way, and this one I happened to get. I draw draw drew draw drew. <laughs> I drew Richard's name, and it was this little winter scene that has the most incredible um, uh, layout in it. That uh, uh, just every time I I look at it, I just really really love it, and the colors he used and things are. A really nice phenomenal contrast I mean there's so many things about it. it's just this little tiny five by seven painting and, and I'll have to be perfectly honest I think it might be one of the best paintings I've I've seen of his and it's I think to him it was probably like a little throwaway but um, I hope not because it's a really super special painting the next painting um, was actually sent to me um, by one of uh, one of my YouTube subscribers uh, named Jenna and um, the thing that I um, really appreciate when I look at this painting is just how well the uh, background mountain and things sets off against the uh, where the light is coming through the leaves and stuff on these foreground trees and the way the shadows are, are coming um, right at you. It's just a really super special little painting. And um, she sent this to me with some very encouraging words on the back of it and um i've uh just really cherished it ever since i got it 
The next one I want to talk about is from a friend of mine, Nigel Beard. Um, Nigel, I also met through YouTube. Um, Nigel is a retired uh, lorry driver over on the east coast of England. And um, I've just enjoyed so much watching his paintings develop and watch him develop as an artist since his retirement. He gets to spend a lot more time painting. And I'm, I've always been so jealous of... Um, Nigel Skies, and maybe you've heard me talk about this before, but I saw this little painting pop up um, on his uh, Instagram, and I just um, sent him a message right away and said, will you sell this to me? Um, because I, I just felt like I just really had to have it. And well, number one, I wanted to have one of his paintings I could view and examine up close and, and enjoy in my home. Um, but this particular painting, um, I was so impressed with the, uh, from a distance, the sky like just really is really electric to me. and But it's so simple. And this is a lesson that I'm really trying to learn from him um, is that it doesn't have to be complicated to be beautiful. And I guess we all could probably learn that a little bit. But the way this foreground um, field is lit up with these sheep in it, and it sort of just leads you right back to that house and the light on the roof and the, tr the shape of the trees on the right is is properly um, in shadow because there's so much light behind them. Uh, I just really enjoy the greens and purples and uh, so many things about this little painting, and I'm so glad that he agreed to send it to me. And um, Nigel, I have to um, say thank you again because he didn't just send me one. He actually added a few others in the package with it, um, which are also... Um, just exceptional little paintings and I'll share some of those in the in the future so you can uh, you can see those as well but I chose this one because I, I wanted you to uh, to see it because I just really dig it the next uh, one is a watercolor which I always appreciate people who have this kind of skill with watercolor but um, this is um, a painting that was sent to me by uh, Sarah Burns and uh, for those of you who follow Sarah, you know um, that uh, she's over in um, Scotland and or Ireland. Um, I don't remember which one off the top of my head right now, but uh, um, it's up there. And uh, she's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. But she finds the most amazing places to go and paint. And this one... Um, I really, really just love the uh, the sense of light in this. I mean, you can really feel it. So it has a tremendous amount of emotion, and it didn't. It doesn't take a whole lot to say what's happening in this scene. But this is a uh, a little watercolor that um, there are so many things about it that I just really appreciate, like those like those blue trees that sit behind this first screen of trees. Uh, the way the values recede, um, just phenomenal. Really, really enjoy it. The next painting is uh, from a friend of mine um, named Marta Gonzalez, who um, actually lives out here in Riverside, um, not not too far from from where I live. And when I was um, just coming out here as a consultant, I actually had an opportunity to go um, have uh, dinner with Marta, and then my wife and I had an opportunity to have dinner with Marta and her husband. Um, but the first first time I met her, she gave me this beautiful painting, and um, I feel um, like I stole something from her because this, I've, of all of the paintings of hers that I've seen, um, this particular one just makes me so happy when I see it. And I couldn't believe that she uh, actually... Um, gave it to me as a gift because it's just so phenomenal. Um, it's of the poppies that uh, come out in the spring out in uh, kind of out in her area. And this uh, um, the textures and things that are that are in this foreground field and the darks and lights and just how it shows a, a lot of depth, you know, it's not all sitting on the surface. There's actually ups and downs and lots of dimensions and um, the hill in the background just sort of disappears in front of this. Um, I, there are just so many things about this little painting that I just love. 
And every time I look at it, I think, man, I wish I painted on Belgian linen, but I, I don't, but I probably should because I love it so much. But um, anyway, this was a tremendous gift from Marta, and um, I just wanted to uh, share it with you. All right, so I'm going to be... Uh going to be very honest up front. I am actually going to kind of, uh, kind of take a, I'm so familiar with like Michigan skies, um, that I'm going to actually paint a Michigan sky over this California landscape, which could be like complete blasphemy in some way. It's definitely not, maybe not true to everything, but certainly during the year, there has to be at least one day where the sky looks like, uh, looks like it does in Michigan so I'm going to pretend like that's the day and I'm going to uh, that's what I'm going to do here so um, first I'm just going to get the blue value um, that I need and then I'll put some general shapes kind of in the sky but mostly there's going to be like a, a these white clouds that kind of kind of these cloud streaks that are going to kind of go off into the distance this way um, and a little bit over here and then some uh, white clouds over here with kind of a big patch of blue in here and then uh, a big patch of blue in here and then sort of a, some horizon blue kind of down in the, this area here so uh, <clears throat> I'll get that uh, I'll get that on the on the board first here so all right let's see uh, let's see how this goes
All right, so I'm gonna stop there and uh, thanks so much for checking out the video today. I'll let you be the judge. I don't, I have improved it some, but I think it still needs a little bit more work. I definitely feel like the picture is much happier and certainly makes me feel happier. So I guess in that respect, it's a, it's a huge success. So um, there's still a couple things that aren't quite adjusted right, but I'll work on those. So this is where we ended up from where we were. And uh, yeah, so um, anyway, I uh, hope you're doing well, staying safe and everyone is healthy. And um, as always, hey, I'll catch you later.